Meet Temba. His name means hope. At the age of 29 years, he cares for his wife and their two children, as well as his two orphaned nephews. In this time of extreme pressure to care for his family, he is steadfast. Though many have left their families out of desperation, Temba refuses to give up and run. We normally harvest in June and July, and for the past two years, 2014 and 2015, we got nothing. Where those cattle are, that's where we normally cultivate. I stay here with my two nephews and my kids, and there is no food. Sometimes I'd go away for a week or two to look for food, and I might come back with a bag of maize meal and cooking oil. I am not employed. There are no jobs. The kind of jobs I do is casual piece work. It is very bad. Whenever I go away, I must make sure that they have food. If I go away leaving nothing behind, it's like putting cattle in a crawl and leaving them there to die. Especially the young ones, they wake up in the morning and wait for food from you. They will ask, is there no food today? They expect it from you as their parent. This drought has deeply affected us. For example, I normally cultivate my fields and harvest two truck loads. I normally fill them up with maize. In the past two years, we did not even get one maize to roast in the fire, not even a single one. It takes around 40 minutes. When you get there, you have to wait for whoever is there first. Like during this drought, one would wait for at least two hours. You will fill one container and wait for the water to fill up in the well before you fill the next container. Sometimes you will wait there the whole day until it's dark and get nothing. Thank you for joining us. www.handsatwork.org <laughs>